Barring any unforeseen circumstances, Sen Power Generation Company Limited will add an additional uninterrupted 350 megawatts of power to Ghana's stock of power by September next year. Construction of the independent power production plant is 42% complete with innovative technologies introduced to make Sen Power the leading IPP in the country. The Vice President, Kwesi Misa Arthur, who inspected the rates of work, was confident that Ghana is on its way to leaving power rationing to history. A story by Nuto Bibini Nuto. As at January 2015, when Vice President Kwesi Misa Arthur had come to Pum to cut the sword for construction work to begin on the $900 million cent power generation project, Ghana was facing unprecedented energy crisis with the promise of the independent power producer adding 350 megawatts to Ghana's energy stock by September 2017. Optimists heaved a sigh of relief. Fifteen months down the lane, energy experts working on the project can point to real development of about 42%. We have also had close to 800,000 man hours working and I'm happy to announce that by the grace of God there has been no single accident. A lot of planning went into the project for which reason it stands out among the stock of independent power producers in the country. It includes a three kilometer gas pipeline connected to the West African gas pipeline making the project not dependent on gas from government. It also has a substation being constructed for the evacuation of power to those on the distribution chain. The novelty is a tunnel boring machine being introduced into the country by an independent power producer for the first time. The machine was test run to show its efficacy and readiness to produce and monitor progress of work. With all of these in place, the major works are done, making management of sand power generation confident of meeting the September 2017 deadline for their first production. Vice President Kwesi Misa Arthur was impressed with the innovative technologies employed. We have seen this um, boring, the tunnel boring technique. I hope that people are also learning and it is introducing new technology and will transfer, hopefully, will transfer technology to the people who work in it and so we'll be able to utilize that technology in the development of pipe, pipe laying for the water system and for elect electricity and so on. You've seen the way um, the, even the power evacuation allowing for them to evacuate the power from this project as well as from the expansion of the Sonon Asogli project. So that it's all integrated. It, there's a, a certain coherence of uh, the projects that have been done that make sense and also the way in which um, this project is using seawater for cooling because that has been one of the problems in some of the thermal um, energy projects in this country. With 90% of employees drawn from the community, the Greater Accra Regional Minister, Nilai Afotiagbo, was happy it had reduced the spate of unemployment in the area. The pressure with unemployment from the youth is now coming down. But I'm more than impatient and so yearning to see the companies at least getting to uh, uh, their peak so at least they can absorb or maybe take about 90% of the youths who have this unemployment problem. Send Power Generation Company Limited uses multiple fuel and does not depend on government for the provision of gas to power its plants. Nto Bibi Nto. GBC 24, boom.